Hi, my name is Laura and I am the program director for the pharmacy technician program here at Kirkwood. Pharmacy technicians are very important in the day-to-day -day operations of a pharmacy and as such it's a great career choice. By definition, and we use the Iowa Board of Pharmacy definition, a pharmacy technician is an individual who assists in the technical functions of the practice of pharmacy, enabling the pharmacist to provide pharmaceutical care to the patient. The supervising pharmacist is responsible for the actions of a pharmacy technician or other supportive personnel. Job responsibilities include some of the following. Pharmacy technicians will receive written prescriptions. They take prescription refill requests. They assist in the preparation of IV meds. They operate the computer and automation systems. They do inventory and they prepare insurance claim forms. Some career opportunities are retail pharmacies, hospital pharmacies, medical clinics, home health agencies, and assisted living facilities, as well as nursing homes. For the job outlooks, um, we use the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics. The employment opportunities for pharmacy technicians is expected to grow faster than the average occupation, due in part to an aging population. Right now, the average wage for a full-time position as a pharmacy technician is $28,280. The growth is expected to um, be significant over the next 10 years. At Kirkwood, the pharmacy technician program provides the education and training for employment as a pharmacy technician. We prepare the student for certification process upon course completion. The student is then prepared to take an accredited technician certification board exam as required by the Iowa Board of Pharmacy in order to practice in the state of Iowa. Our program requirements include for the high school student a successful completion with a C or better of a high school algebra two class. Students must meet the recommended compass test scores. They must meet our age guidelines, which usually means that they are senior and will be turning 18. Satisfactory completion of the fall courses. So the fall courses include survey of health careers and medical terminology. In the spring, which starts in January, the student will take our pharmacology technology course. It's a seven and a half credit hours, includes lecture, lab, and a clinical component. At that point, we also register the student as a farm tech trainee. Trainee registration um, is very important and it's required by the Iowa Board of Pharmacy. Um, as such, it's stated on the Iowa Board of Pharmacy site that an individual enrolled in a technician training course or program or an individual who has not previously worked as a pharmacy technician and who accepts technician employment in an Iowa pharmacy must register as a pharmacy technician trainee within 30 days of starting technician training or employment. A technician trainee must become a nationally certified pharmacy technician within 12 months of starting the technician employment or training. So our, again, our students are registered in the January semester. Our clinical component um, is a big part of the program. It's included as part of the course. The student is expected to do 48 hours of clinical time. Um, they go to hospital pharmacies and they also go to retail pharmacies. This is completed outside of class time. To meet cl clinical compliance, the student will submit to background checks. This is a clinical site requirement. They will submit required health information. They must be in good academic standing in the pharmacy technician class. Um, and they have to provide us with proof of current CPR as well as first aid. Our clinic sites are hospital and retail sites established by our Kirkwood Clinical Agreement, so the student does not have to find their own clinical sites. They are in our local metro area. We have other eastern si Iowa sites within our Kirkwood seven county area. Um, the student may have to travel a little bit to their clinical sites, but we do our best to work with the student regarding their site preferences. Some of the expectations for the clinical experience is that they adhere to all policies as required by our sites. No visible tattoos, piercings and ears only. Um, the other piercings must be removed or covered. Um, there is a pharmacy technician shirt and that um, is required to be worn at clinical um, and sometimes other apparel, but usually the site will provide that. And we do issue the student a picture ID badge that they must wear at all times while at clinical. Some of our student expectations for the classroom and the clinical sites is professionalism. We want our students to be professional and, and, and be prepared. Um, good attendance, we do have an attendance policy for our class. So they have to be um, in attendance and follow that policy for class, for lab, and for clinical. Our students um, are expected to have a positive attitude with a willingness to learn. They need to be a good team player 
Um, they're obviously part of a, a, of a pharmacy team. They have to have good communication skills. Often the pharmacy technician is the front office staff, and so they are the ones greeting the customers, and they are the ones the first person the customer will see. They have to be adaptable to change. Pharmacies can be very busy at one moment and not so busy the next, so they have to be willing to stop what they're doing and help out and be adaptable. And they have to follow directions because, once again, they are practicing under the license of a pharmacist. They have to be very, very good at following directions. Um, how do we evaluate our students? Um, attendance, participation, completed assignments, our exams, which include a final cumulative exam, lab practicals, satisfactory completion of the clinical experience, and then the minimum grade expectation we have, which is listed in our syllabus. If you have any questions about the pharmacy technician program, please talk to your counselor, your high school counselor, but if there's some course specific um, questions that you have, here's my contact information. Please feel free to call me or email me at that email address. Thank you.